Hello there, young explorers. Welcome to another exciting adventure with Learn With Morale. Today we're going on a green quest, exploring the fascinating world of plants. We'll uncover the secrets of a green plant's parts, from their colorful flowers to their sturdy roots. Journey through different types of stems and marvel at the variety of leaves. Strap on your curiosity hats and get ready for a botanical exploration like no other. Are you ready to dive into the green world of plants? Here we go! Plants are more than just green things that grow in the ground. They are living organisms with different parts, each with its own special function. Let's dive in to discover these parts. First up, we have the flowers. They're not just pretty to look at, they play a crucial role in reproduction. Then we have leaves. These solar panel-like structures harness sunlight to make food for the plant. Next, we have the bark or the beech. It's like a protective jacket for the plant, guarding it against harsh weather and pests. The trunk or the stem is the plant's backbone. It supports the plant and transports water, nutrients, and sugars between the roots and leaves. Lastly, we have the roots. These underground heroes anchor the plant in the ground and absorb water and nutrients from the soil. So those are the parts of a green plant. Each part has its own job to do to keep the plant healthy. Now imagine the stem as the highway of the plant. It's not just one type, but many. Just like highways, stems come in various forms, each with its own unique features and functions. First up, we have the trunk, the main stem of a tree standing tall and strong. It's the skyscraper of the plant world supporting the branches up high. Next is the regular stem we see in most plants holding up the leaves and flowers like the pillars of a building. Then we have the underground stem, a secret tunnel system that stores food and can sprout new plants. Think of potatoes and ginger. Our fourth type is the climbing stem, the adventurous type always reaching for the sky by attaching itself to other structures. Creeping stems, on the other hand, prefer to stay close to the ground, spreading out like a carpet of green. Lastly, we have straight stems, simple and efficient, growing directly upwards. Remember, the stem is the plant's highway, transporting water, nutrients, and sugars between the roots and leaves. Leaves are like the kitchen of a plant. They come in all shapes and sizes. Let's start with compound leaves. These leaves are like a team working together on one stem. They're made up of several leaflets, each doing their part to help the plant make food. Next, we have broad leaves. As the name suggests, these are wide and flat, perfect for catching as much sunlight as possible. Then there are needle-like leaves, thin and pointy. You'll often find these on evergreen trees like pines and firs. They're great at conserving water, especially in cold, dry climates. Lastly, let's talk about rounded or oval leaves. These leaves have a smooth edge and are rounded at the base and the tip. You'll find these on many fruit trees. Each type of leaf has a special role, designed to help the plant survive in its unique environment. Leaves are essential for plants to make their food. They truly are nature's kitchen. Well, we've had quite the plant adventure today, haven't we? We've journeyed through the fascinating world of plants, discovering the marvelous parts of a green plant, the diverse types of stems, and the intriguing variety of leaves. We've seen how each part, stem, and leaf has a unique role in a plant's life. We've learned that plants are more than just green things. They're living, breathing, drinking wonders of nature. Thanks for joining Learn With Morale on this green journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more exciting learning adventures. Share the knowledge with your friends and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video.